Hey, what's up guys? Amar here with ZenMade. Thank you so much for joining the second annual Maid Summit. Uh, for today's presentation, I'm going to be talking to you about gift cards and how they can absolutely transform your business and transform your cash flows. Uh, the presentation that I'm actually about to give was inspired by a question that was uh, proposed to me by Debbie Sardone. She asked me uh, what I would recommend to maid service owners like yourselves if you had to come up with $10,000 on very short notice. And so I actually put together a little presentation about that that you guys are about to, uh, to see, we're about to jump into. And as a little bonus section, uh, I'm also gonna talk about how you can not only generate $10,000 quickly, um, which of course the answer is gift cards, and we'll talk about the tactics here in just a second, but also how you can actually make $10,000 on an annual basis, how you can turn this into a true cash flow um, and positive revenue generation for your main service. So let's jump into it. For those of you guys that don't know me, I am Amar Ghosh. I am the founder and CEO of ZenMade. We started in the industry back in 2013. That was one year after I started running my own maid service, Fast Friendly Spotless, in Orange County, California. So since 2013, I've spoken with, I believe, about 5,000 or 6,000 maid service owners. Um, if you're watching this, there's probably a 50-50 chance that we've had like a conversation at some point. Uh, Go ahead and drop a comment below if you're watching this um, or if you're commenting on the Made Summit site or if you're watching this over in the Zen Made Mastermind. Um, I should be around on either of these to leave comments below. So if you have chatted with me, go ahead and uh, drop a comment, give me a like, whatever. Um, and so over the past seven years, we have uh, developed a lot of industry knowledge. We now go out of our way to actually hire maid service owners. And that's definitely one of the things that led to us sort of recognizing gift cards as a major opportunity for your maid service. So the first thing is you obviously need to have a basic, um, a basic gift card software, um, something that you can use to actually collect gift cards. So the nice thing is that you can actually just do this using a type form or a jot form or any form tool that's out there that allows you to throw up a, um, a Stripe integration, right? Like a Stripe form. You can just ask people to fill out some information and then pay like $200 or whatever it is. There's a lot of uh, essentially low tech ways to make gift cards happen. Uh, you also have things like, I think it's the Square, uh, sorry, Gift Up app. You have um, Gift Card Cafe. Um, I believe that Square, I think, offers gift card options. And then um, at the end of this presentation, I'm going to show you guys what we've actually developed at ZenMade. Um, but the point of this, of this uh, presentation is to get you guys using gift cards if you're not already. And if you are like many people that you have a gift card program, program set up, um, that you're using one of those apps that I just said, but maybe you're not actually promoting gift cards, I'm very much hoping that you're going to be able to, um, to, to jump on your computer after this presentation and actually make yourself some money using gift cards. That's like the actual goal of this presentation. Um, so if that actually happens, if you're one of those folks that has the program set up and you go out and you make a couple hundred dollars, please, please, please let me know. It would mean the world to me and to the rest of the team to know that what we're sharing here, you know, on the summit is actually actively helping your guys' businesses. So... <clears throat> Assuming that you have a gift card program set up, you have quite a few options to actually uh, essentially make money on gift cards. And so before we talk about how to actually promote uh, the gift cards, I want to just talk quickly about why gift cards are so powerful for your business. And so there's a lot of different benefits depending on how you use them as like a marketing tool with giveaways and contests and stuff like that, that I'll probably touch on here in just a minute. But the main reason that gift cards are so powerful is because of two words, and that's cash flow. Gift cards help your cash flow massively. A lot of people don't realize this. A lot of people think that if someone buys a gift card that they were going to spend the money on anyways, then, you know, what's the point? They don't care if a current customer that spends $100 a month with them currently buys a $100 gift card because that revenue is coming in, right? Wrong. 
it actually does matter. If someone spends a couple hundred dollars on gift cards that they're going to redeem for you over the next couple of months or over the next couple of weeks, what they're essentially doing is they are loaning you that money at a zero interest rate. So they give you $100 that you can now use to pay your cleaners this week, or you can use to put into an advertising campaign this week, but you don't actually have to perform the service for a couple of weeks or for a couple of months. And so if there's one like sort of a realization to take away from this and, and essentially why why you should care about gift cards is because in one sentence, if every single one of your clients paid you by purchasing gift cards instead of paying you at the time of service, it would massively improve your business. And just to throw out a quick example here, probably the best known company for gift cards is Starbucks. And a lot of people don't realize that, that Starbucks essentially uses their customers almost as a bank, right? That I personally have a Starbucks gift card in my wallet right now that a friend gave me, my mom gave me, I have no idea where it came from, but I have a card that's got a couple of dollars on there. And so again, for cash flow purposes, Starbucks will oftentimes have, I'm trying to remember what the number was, it's at least $20 million outstanding on those gift cards at any given time. And essentially what that means is that they've been loaned $20 million that they can invest into their business right now without paying a dime of interest. And there's a huge amount of people that will end up never actually using that money, right? And of course, that's not what we're trying to optimize for that, you know, in a perfect world, we actually want people to buy gift cards and then use the gift cards like on your services, but it can also be a benefit if they don't, right? That, um, that actually does, does increase the revenue for your, um, for your business. Um, again, like, you know, that's not what we're trying to like to focus on here. It's not really good business practice, but it does happen. It does actually add to the, uh, to the bottom line. I believe it's like 17% or something of gift cards are never, um, are never redeemed. So, okay, let's jump into ways to actually sell gift cards. So a lot of these are going to sound very, very obvious. And so when you run through this list with me, what I want you to be asking yourself is not, yeah, I knew that. It's, am I doing that? And if you're not doing that, I want you to ask yourself, why not? Because me being a very, very lazy uh, person and business owner, um, it's like the way that I operate, um, that I definitely look at these sort of things and I'm all about the quick wins, right? That I'm not usually interested in something that it can get us great results, but it's going to take a massive amount of effort when there are easy ways to do this. So most of what I'm about to tell you should be lightning quick for you guys to implement. So if you're not doing this, make a note and start actually doing it and let me know the results. Okay. Very first thing that you can do is post to social media. Um, about supporting small businesses like yours, either during COVID or in general, buying local. The nice thing here is that you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You can go out, you can Google and find different campaigns that have worked really well. You can find popular social media posts where other small business owners in other areas around the US have communicated points like really well, and you can use that for inspiration in your posts. But letting local people in your area and know, you know, it's also a reminder that you exist, but just letting them know that, hey, we have gift cards. This is a great way to support your local businesses. Um, that is a, an awesome way to actually uh, get sales. Sounds very obvious, but most people are not doing it. Little bonus idea there is if you can partner up with other local businesses, if there's an auto shop that's right next to your office, for example, see if you can get, let's say, three or four companies to all chip in, let's say a $20 gift card, and then to post on social media where all of you are saying, hey, support local businesses, here's three that we work with, you know, and like, you know, uh, a contest or an opportunity to win a gift card. And again, there's software out there that can help you with that um, in terms of contests and giveaways. I'm not sure if there's any that do both with the gift cards and all that, but probably a cool thing to, um, to, to look into. <clears throat> 
So um, another one that I have seen, particularly during Corona and COVID, but again, you can, you can riff on this, you can come up with other ideas that might work well for you I um, mean, like in a post COVID era, but um, posting with gift cards for essential workers, right? That just posting and going, hey, you know, buy like a gift card and we'll donate X amount of money to an essential worker or buy gift cards for essential workers is another great way. And this is a nice way for you to help facilitate a little transfer of wealth between your better off um, clients and audience and essential workers that could really use your services and that are working their asses off and are coming back, you know, and don't have time to clean their homes. It's something really nice that you can do. Uh, you can do this at any time that you can do this to support your local police department, your local fire department, um, local organizations. Um, this is a, a very like wide ranging um, sort of way to actually sell more gift cards and to um, to, to, to bring some some positive um, results to um, to the world and to your local community. Another one um, that is unbelievably easy. Again, this is one you're going to be like, this is not a new idea. But again, if you haven't done this in a while. Ask yourself why not, write this down, go and do it. And that is to just send an email out to your entire list. Um, at this point, if you're using ZenMade, hopefully you have all of your leads in there, not just your customers. Or if you're using ZenMade and just for scheduling, hopefully you've got MailChimp or ActiveCampaign or one of those, but you should be able to send an email blast to every person that's ever opted into your email list and to just let them know that you have a gift card, a gift card program, and that that's something that you're even offering with a direct link. This is another one. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. You can just Google and find some quick emails that you can, um, can send, send out about that. So that's just stuff that you can essentially do right now if you already have this set up to actually go out and to just make some money. So now what I want to talk about is how to make money using gift cards on an ongoing basis. And so if you don't already have a gift card program set up, if you're still with us right now and you haven't uh, found a solution for this, you didn't come into this talk with a solution, this is where you're going to want to pay a little bit more attention because uh, what I'm about to share with you is exactly why you should take the time to actually get a gift card program set up in addition to the cash flow stuff that I was talking about earlier. And so this is where it can make you uh, quite a bit of money. Um, and the main thing is that everything I'm about to say can be very easily systematized. So it's something that you don't have to do this on really on an ongoing basis. You can batch most of this work up front and then use it year after year. And again, that's what makes this really powerful. So, the main thing is to start uh, using a holiday calendar to actually promote your gift card program regular basis. And so what I mean by that is, uh, you know, this, we're watching this in July of 2020 right now. And so let's see, coming up in October is Halloween. That's the next, uh, the next big uh, holiday that I can think of, right? But there's got to be major holidays like every month, right? So let's just say for Halloween in October, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pretty much go through that checklist that I just gave you guys for the one-time promotion that you want to go and you want to post to Twitter, you want to post to Facebook, you want to post to LinkedIn, uh, and you want to let people know that for Halloween you have gift cards available. And uh, again, you can, you can find inspiration for this on the internet. You can either focus on, hey, make sure your home is clean for Halloween, uh, make sure it's clean for right after, you know, are you doing a haunted house? We'll help you clean up after. You can do something along those lines. You can also just have, um, have themed gift cards so that, you know, you're promoting Halloween graphics. So one thing here that you guys can do is you can use an awesome system like Canva to create a Halloween promo graphic post to social media and essentially promote that. And like, honestly, most of the stuff that I'm saying is just promote. It's really just letting people know that you have a gift card program. You would be shocked at how effective that is to just move a couple of hundred dollars or even low four digits in gift cards every single month. It's just a campaign. So then the other big one is to send out an email 
to your entire list and to do this every single month. And so the main way that, that you can do this without sort of burning out your list is giving people a reason to buy around each specific holiday. And again, that's whether it's for them of, hey, you know, buy a gift card and treat yourself or buy this for a friend so that so that they can um can, can come in and can benefit from our service and so what you're going to do is you want to actually batch that so that you do a year's just one one a month design all of the graphics ahead of time and write all of the emails and what you can do is every single december you can send out the same email for christmas or for halloween that you did the year before and so once a month you'll be asking for sales and again that alone will probably take you to four or five hundred dollars particularly if you're linking people to a fifty or a hundred dollar gift card depending on what amount you actually want to be um, sort of pushing people to spend um, we've seen as low as you know ten twenty five dollars um, and then other people are pushing for a hundred or two hundred dollars depending on the software that you're using oftentimes people can just choose the amount that they um, that they actually uh, want. Uh, the other thing that is great again is just letting people know is a lot of people if if they didn't send out a blast to their email list, letting them know that there's a gift card program and their customers aren't coming to the website and seeing that most of the time, you know, your customers may have no idea you even have a gift card. Um, a gift card program. And so one of the other easiest things that you can do is on your confirmation email in Zenmade or on your reminder email in Zenmade that goes out to your customers every single time or just after their first appointment is added into the PS. Put it somewhere in that email that, hey, we have a great gift card program if you want to refer any friends and family. A lot of different ways that you can go about doing that. So, um, <clears throat> so that, that is really like the best way for you to go about selling gift cards. Um, I feel like this is really, really uh, basic in some ways, but again, it's basic because it is honestly really simple, but actually doing the work is not always easy and staying consistent with it is not always easy, but gift cards can be insanely, insanely powerful uh, for your maid service. So we have about three minutes left. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna show you guys um, the new software that the ZenMaid team has put together. Zen Zen Gift. Um, and so Zen Gift came out because we saw at the very beginning of Corona that the people that had gift card programs in place did a lot better cash flow wise that I'd been aware of this over the past couple of years. But when, um, when that hit, that was when we finally were like, no, we need to help people with this. We need to help people to improve their cash flow uh, because it's just, it's such an easy win. It's such a simple thing to do. So what I'm actually going to show you right now is as I share my screen, I'm going to actually sign up for our new software and show you just how easy it actually is that what you're going to do is you're going to come to this page to zenmade.com slash gift. And if you request early access here, if you just enter in your email, we will drop you uh, more information on how to actually get started with this. I need to check with the team, but I believe that this software is actually 100% live. I think that Courtney and a couple of Courtney's um, community uh, members have been actually selling um, some gift cards already. So I'm literally going to show you guys how easy it is to sign up and to, um, and to set this up. This is completely live. So what we're going to do is, you know, I'd already entered in my email address and my password. And then all that I'm going to put in is the name of my maid service right here, American Maids. And what comes next is I have the ability to connect my Stripe account, which is how ZenMade customers collect uh, credit card information at ZenMade. So if you're watching this as a ZenMade customer, you can just click on this button. It'll take you two seconds to set this up. And the nice thing is that if you're watching this and you're not a ZenMade customer or you're not a Stripe user, you can set up a Stripe account completely for free and you only pay fees when you actually make money. And so what that means is that even if you use Square or something else, you can just sign up for our software, sign up for Stripe, and you can just use Stripe to actually collect money, put it into your bank account, and then manage your tracking somewhere else. So <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to 
uh, enter that in, you're going to connect your Stripe account. And then where Zen Gift makes things really easy is all of that social media promotion that I was just telling you that you guys need to do consistently and you need to do every single month. That's essentially what Zen Gift does for you. So we looked at a bunch of the other software that was um, that was out there. And we realized that even though they work to essentially collect money and to sort of manage the gift card process, the one thing they were all missing is they didn't help you to actually sell and market your gift cards. And that's what we've tried to accomplish here. So after you've connected your Stripe account with one click of a button, you'll get a pop-up that will allow you to actually share about your, your new gift card program on Facebook. And we've actually pre-written in a post with a very nicely designed graphic that will work for any made service, for any brand colors. And you can come in and you can use this. And so you just click on share on Facebook, boom, gonna make some sales. Next page. LinkedIn, exact same thing, but we've actually changed the copy. So now we're actually going to point out to your potential clients on LinkedIn that maybe they can buy this for their boss or they can buy it as a thank you for one of their team members or their employees. Next up, we have Twitter followed by Instagram. This is coming soon. We need to get the API um, set up here. And finally, after you guys have shared all of this on social media, then what's going to happen is you're going to be taken over to the gift card shop that the Zen gift software will generate a page to help you to sell your gift cards. You can, after you've gone through this process that I'm showing you now, you can embed that onto a page on your website. So you can set up your mainservice.com slash gift cards, which is awesome. And so you from there, you can quickly send out an email to your list. You can let them know about, um, about that. And that is essentially how the software works. But where the, uh, the software is going to get a little bit more useful is more than just that onboarding process that I just showed you, which will help you to make 500 or $1,000 like right now today. I'd love for you guys to go in to, and to do that. But exactly as I was describing earlier, what will happen is if you sign up for Zen Gift, you will get an email, let's say in February, February saying, hey, Valentine's Day is coming up in 10 days. Click here to go in and to promote your gift card program for Valentine's Day. And what will happen is that onboarding process that I just walked you guys through, you'll come into it and it'll look exactly like that, except for the fact that all of the graphics will be specific to Valentine's Day that, that our team will actually have designed for you along with custom copy for Valentine's Day for you to go in and to share. And so again, um, you know, I, I hope that this presentation is helpful and that you guys learn some things about how to actually go out and to sell gift cards. But again, like my point here is that you guys can go out and you can do this on your own. You can use Canva, which is 100% free, and you can go out and create these images. You can find all of this stuff online, and you guys can use various forms and other builders online to actually offer this for free. If you want it to be a little bit more specialized, if you want to save a little bit of time and make this a bit of a more automated uh, process that you can pass off to a low-level virtual assistant or to your office manager or even to a cleaner that wants to make a couple of dollars. Um, you know, this is a very, very easy thing to do. And that, that's what we've designed Zen Gift to be. So um, if you guys are interested, go to zenmade.com slash gift, and we will send you an email with more information when you join the actual email list there. Go ahead and drop a comment below. Let me know if you found this helpful, if you learned anything, um, if you already have a gift card program in place, like go send out an email, go make some things happen, go sell, uh, make a couple hundred dollars on your gift card programs. If you guys don't already have a program in place, Place, go set one up, you know, use zenmade.com uh, slash gift, your Zen gift, or, um, or go out and just make it happen. Uh, this is one of the best things that you can do for your cash flow and your maid service. It's something that I, I literally recommend every maid service on the planet should have a program that does this for them because it can just be 
so powerful. So once again, thank you guys for joining. Thank you guys for joining the second annual Made Summit. Um, just quickly, for those of you that are still with us, still watching, um, feel free to reach out. Drop me an email at amar at zenmade.com. Drop a comment into um, the Zenmade Mastermind, into the Facebook group. Let us know feedback, comments, what we can do to make this better for next year, what we can do differently, um, what we should keep the same, all of that. And similarly, if you guys have any questions, questions about absolutely anything that I have spoken about today, do not hesitate to reach out. Love to hear from everyone and, uh, and to chat. So yes, have a great um, rest of the evening. Enjoy the next talks that are coming up and the talks coming up in the following days, and we will see you soon.